In the modern era, the rise of China's military capabilities presents a profound challenge to the status quo, reshaping the strategic landscape in the Asia-Pacific region. This article explores the evolving U.S. approach and response to China's burgeoning missile threat, specifically the U.S. military's strategic shift from relying heavily on large bases to dispersing assets across smaller outposts. China's missile threat has surged in recent years, fundamentally changing the strategic calculus in Asia. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, the branch of China's military responsible for its missile arsenal, has experienced a significant surge in its capabilities. China now boasts over 1,300 ballistic missiles capable of reaching targets in the Asia-Pacific region, including major U.S. bases in Guam. Notably, the development of hypersonic missiles, which can evade missile defense systems due to their unpredictable flight paths, further highlights the vulnerability of U.S. bases. Consequently, the U.S. has had to reassess its strategy to maintain deterrence and effectively respond to potential conflicts, redefining the U.S. approach in Asia. The realization of the increasing vulnerability of larger military installations in the Asia-Pacific region has catalyzed a pivotal shift in U.S. military strategy. This shift aims at mitigating the risk posed by China's advanced and expanding missile capabilities. The focal point of this new approach is the dispersal of assets, weaponry, troops, and command posts, across a variety of smaller, less conspicuous outposts in strategic locations. The dispersion strategy aims to complicate the decision-making matrix for Beijing. By not concentrating troops and assets in a single location, it becomes harder for China to land a decisive blow on the U.S. military presence in the region. This approach effectively creates a moving target for China, requiring them to manage a more complex operation in the event of an attack. Moreover, the dispersion of forces also allows for more flexibility in troop and asset deployment. Smaller, more mobile units can be repositioned more swiftly, allowing for rapid response to changing battlefield conditions. This strategy aims to give the U.S. an advantage in terms of adaptability and agility in conflict scenarios. Key to the implementation of this strategy is the creation of air mobility teams. These are small, agile teams designed to quickly convert any location into a temporary military base. This includes creating landing strips for aircraft in remote locations and setting up crucial infrastructure, such as refueling points. The advent of these air mobility teams is a testament to the U.S. military's commitment to adaptability and responsiveness. It reflects an understanding that modern warfare requires more than raw firepower, it requires speed, flexibility, and the ability to operate in a variety of different scenarios and environments. The dispersal strategy also involves pre-positioning military assets. By having assets positioned closer to potential conflict zones, the U.S. can drastically reduce response times in the event of an escalation. Pre-positioning provides an additional layer of strategic depth to U.S. operations in the Asia-Pacific region. A key aspect of this approach involves not only military considerations but also humanitarian ones. Smaller bases and pre-positioned assets can be used for disaster response, such as typhoon relief in the Philippines, further reinforcing the U.S. commitment to the region. The Lalo Airfield in the northern Philippines serves as a poignant example of this new approach in action. The U.S. has recently gained access to this site, among others, where it can deploy assets and personnel quickly. The presence of U.S. troops and equipment, even on a temporary basis, at such locations adds to the overall security umbrella in the region, making it harder for any potential adversary to launch a successful first strike. The shift in U.S. military strategy is marked by an embrace of dispersion, agility, and adaptability. This new approach underlines the U.S.'s commitment to maintaining a robust and resilient presence in the Asia-Pacific region, even as the strategic challenges and threats in the region continue to evolve. While this dispersal strategy is aimed at reducing vulnerability, it brings its own set of challenges. These include weaker defenses at individual sites, potential difficulties coordinating with host governments, increased logistical and operational complexity, and potential obstacles to communication with control centers. In addition, some host countries like the Philippines have imposed restrictions on how U.S. accessed sites can be used. These constraints may limit the strategic flexibility of U.S. forces in a conflict scenario. Strengthening Defense and Deterrence Capabilities Despite the challenges posed by dispersion, the U.S. continues to invest in strengthening its defense and deterrence capabilities. Major U.S. facilities in the Asia-Pacific region are protected by missile defense systems such as Patriot batteries and the ship-based Aegis system. Additional funding has been approved for more missile defenses, signaling Washington's resolve to maintain a robust military presence in the region. The U.S. military is also exploring further deployments in Australia, improving infrastructure on the U.S.-administered island of Tinian, and signing defense cooperation agreements with countries like Papua New Guinea to widen its network of operation.
The U.S. military's footprint in the Philippines has increased recently, following an agreement granting Washington access to four new locations. These sites, along with five others the U.S. already has access to, are instrumental in the U.S. strategy of dispersing its military assets. However, the U.S. cannot build permanent facilities at these sites due to the terms of its agreements, maintaining Philippine sovereignty. Conclusion As China's missile threat continues to grow, the U.S. military strategy in the Asia-Pacific region is undergoing a significant evolution. The shift from reliance on large bases to the dispersion of forces and assets across smaller outposts reflects this changing strategic landscape. While this approach brings its own set of challenges, it ultimately seeks to ensure that the U.S. can continue to exert necessary force in the Indo-Pacific. Until next time, take care.